everybody, it's Christy from OK Keto. I thought I'd go ahead and do a weigh-in video. I don't know if I'm going to do these weekly or bi-weekly, but um, as you will see, today I weighed in at 158.8. I started on February 11th at 183.6. So yeah, almost a 25-pound weight loss. Um, my original goal was to be 155. I'm almost there. I'm, what, three pounds away? So... When I get there, I think I am going to push that goalpost back a little bit more. Um, I'm, like I've said before, I am 39 years old and I'm almost five foot eight. I feel comfortable about the 157 or 147, 148 range. So uh, that might be my next goal once I get to the 155. Um, Non-scale victories, clothes are um, really big. This shirt I haven't been able to wear in a very long time. Um, now I'm wearing it and it's kind of baggy. My favorite shorts are like way too big now, but I'm still gonna sport them as long as I can. Um, have to buy new clothes, but that's not really a problem. I enjoy buying new clothes, so that's nice to be able to do and go down sizes. Uh, other than that, the mental clarity has been great. The mood, I think, has been much improved um, by keto. Stomach issues. <laughs> have been really resolved by keto. Um, thing is now I, I'm, I have to sometimes remind myself to eat. I am going to incorporate, um, I don't really want to call it intermittent fasting. I'm going to call it more like a schedule eating. Uh, I kind of like to stop before 7 p.m. because give my stomach a little bit of time to digest before I go to bed. Um, it's not overworking when I'm asleep, I guess you would say. So. Uh, I'm going to incorporate that at least probably four days a week, so maybe a seven to eight hour eating window. I'm going to try that out. I am going to cut back on not making so many keto desserts and sweets because I've noticed that whenever I eat anything with almond or coconut flour or a combination of, uh, the scale can go up a pound or even stall for several days. I don't know why that is with those, uh, why almond slash coconut flour is affecting me that way but just at least until I get down to where I want to be I'm going to cut back on um, those sweets. I will continue to eat Halo Top. I eat about um, a serving a night, sometimes two servings a night. That's what helps to keep my cravings under control and it's what works for me. Like I said before on this channel, if Revel or Mammoth become available in my area I will switch to those but for now I'm going to stick with Halo Top. Uh, other than that, I haven't really had much other cravings except for, of course, chocolate or peanut butter every now and then, and the Halo Top is seeming to work, and, uh, I don't know how long I'm going to incorporate that, uh, I don't know if I'm going to make it, like, an everyday thing like I've been doing, or if I'm just going to cut it back to a couple of days a week and see if that even helps the scale move, but the scale moved almost three pounds this week, so I'm not... I mean, that's awesome. I've gone a couple weeks where the scale didn't move at all, so I'll take it. Um, like I said, I'm almost at gold, but I know once I get there, it's going to be the maintenance program, and I definitely will still stick to keto. The highest I've ever been in my life is 320 pounds. The lowest I've been as an adult is 147, and I stayed at 147, 148 for about a year and a half, and then I would fluctuate to the 155, one all the way up to the 185 range. I like being at the 147, so I think that's gonna be my goal. Anyways, I hope you're having a great day. Um, just thought I would show you. I, I'm not comfortable with my arms usually showing, but hey, it is what it is. I'll uh, turn to the side, in the back, side. But yeah, I'm I'm liking it. I feel comfortable in my body. Um, like I said, I'm, there, of course, there's skin issues I'm not too happy with, but that's life. I'm not going to pursue ever getting the skin removed because I've been dealing with it all these years and it is what it is. No one sees me naked but my husband anyways and myself. And if I can live with it, he can live with it, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to stick with it. But yeah, uh, I'm finally feeling great in my clothes and in my skin and that's the most important thing. So 
I hope you continue on your journey and if you like these videos and you want to continue to see myself and my brother and our journey and how we lose weight and how we stick to a keto lifestyle, please think about subscribing and uh, hitting the bell and you'll be notified whenever we upload a video. And if you like this video and you want to see more, please give it a thumbs up. I don't know if I'm going to do it weekly or bi-weekly, but um, I'm leaning more towards bi-weekly, but if you would like me to do it weekly, I can do that too. Just leave me a comment in the comments below and I will do that. So, all right. Well, I hope you're having a great day.